list of speakers, and I give the floor to the delegation of the Russian Federation. Chairman, we would like to thank the Secretary General for the successive reports on the question of the criminal accountability of United Nations officials and experts on mission in the case where they commit offences. There is a, sig a significant contribution to the campaign against impunity for such crimes caused by UN officials, uh, and this is borne by the General Assembly. The set of uh, preventive measures we consider are to be essentially up to the size of the task. We welcome activity conducted by states, by peacekeeping operations, and by special political missions on preliminary preparation and instruction, training and instruction of staff. The timing reporting of information uh, on criminal activities uh, enhances the effectiveness of countering impunity. In this connection, we would like to underline the importance of the rapid information by the Secretariat of States of cases in which their citizens on mission, on duty for the United Nations, are suspected of committing an offence. We, we call uh, for the further bolstering of channels of communication between the organisation and states in this area. In the investigation of accusations against UN officials, the state of the citizenship of the UN officials, of the international officials, must play an important and active role in the conduct of judicial process. In this regard, uh, without, uh, without prejudice to the legal status of the personnel and UN experts on mission, it is important to ensure that they are not exempted from accountability for offences committed by them on duty. A study of comments received from states published in the Secretary General's reports demonstrate that states possess the necessary legal mechanisms for criminally to uh, prosecute their citizens who are amongst UN officials. There are also relevant norms of penal law. There are also international instruments uh, which assist interstate cooperation in this regard. We see no legal lacunae in this area. In this context, the need for the drafting of a treaty on this matter currently is not obvious to us. We are satisfied to note that pursuant to the part of the Secretary-General's report on actual cases of interaction between the UN Secretariat with states on criminal prosecution of officials and experts on mission, uh, cooperation is at the appropriate level and situations are not left uninvestigated. Unfortunately, the part of the report on United Nations Secretary Regulations and Procedures, its, pro its programmes and funds, is piecemeal. Far from all sections of the UN Secretariat are covered. There is no consolidated analysis. In particular, it would be interesting to receive more detailed information about those cases in which these bodies seek assistance in investigation from the state of the, citi state of the citizen involved and those where it is the state of the location of the, I of the international organization that is requested for assistance. It is possible that this uh, could be reflected in a resolution on the, on the topic under examination. Thank you, sir. I thank the delegate of the Russian Federation.